from the historic Loretto Abbey Chapel. With the kind cooperation of the Toronto Catholic District School Board, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents The Daily TV Mass. Welcome to the celebration of the Daily TV Mass. I'm Father John Berteo, and today our homilist is Deacon Robert Kinghorn. The televising of this Mass is made possible by the contribution from the estate of Michael Farrell of St. Albans, Newfoundland. This Mass is offered for Martin and Agnes Farrell and their de de descendants, both living and deceased. May their souls and the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. And we begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As we gather once again to celebrate our faith and to be nourished in a special way with our Lord Jesus Christ, let's pause for a moment and ask forgiveness of our failures. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord of mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ of mercy. Christ of mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, perfect light of the blessed, by whose gift we celebrate the Paschal mysteries on earth, bring us, we pray, to rejoice in full measure of your grace for ages unending. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Now the apostles and the believers who were in Judea heard that the Gentiles had also accepted the word of God. So when Peter went up to Jerusalem, the circumcised believers criticized him, saying, Why did you go to the uncircumcised men and eat with them? Then Peter began to explain it to them, step by step, saying, I was in the city of Joppa praying, and in a trance I saw a vision. There was something like a large sheet coming down from heaven, being lowered by its four corners, and it came close to me. As I looked at it closely, I saw four-footed animals, beasts of prey, reptiles, and birds of the air. I also heard a voice saying to me, Get up, Peter, kill and eat. But I replied, By no means, Lord, for nothing profane or unclean has ever entered my mouth. But a second time the voice answered from heaven, What God has made clean, you must not call profane. This happened three times. Then everything was pulled up again to heaven. At that very moment, three men, sent to me from Caesarea, arrived at the house where we were. The Spirit told me to go with them, and not to make a distinction between them and us. These six brothers also accompanied me, and we entered the man's house. He told us how he had seen the angel standing in his house and saying, Send to Joppa and bring Simon, who is called Peter. He will give you a message by which you and your entire household will be saved. And as I began to speak, the Holy Spirit fell upon them, just as it had upon us at the beginning, and I remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said, John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. If then God gave them the same gift that he gave us when we believed in the Lord Jesus Christ, who was I that I could hinder God? When they heard this, they were silenced, and they praised God, saying, then God has given even to the Gentiles the repentance that leads to life. The word of the Lord. Thanks. My soul is thirsting for the living God. As a dear longs for flowing streams, Sure. 
truth, let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. My soul is thirsting for the living God. Then I will go to the altar of God to God my exceeding joy. And I will praise you with the harp, O God, my God. My soul is thirsting for the living God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Very truly I tell you, Jesus said to the Pharisees, anyone who does not enter the sheepfold by the gate, but climbs in by another way, is a thief and a bandit. The one who enters by the gate is a shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and the sheep hear his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes ahead of them, and the sheep follow him because they know his voice. They will not follow a stranger, but they will run from him because they do not know the voice of strangers. Jesus used this figure of speech with them, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So again Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and bandits, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters by me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and to kill and to destroy. I came that they may have life and have it in abundance. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Sometimes we have to state the obvious so that we don't forget the truth. We follow a person, Jesus the Christ. We haven't given our lives to some vague ideal or some humanistic cause. We have given our lives to a person, Jesus the Christ. Somehow in our lives, one way or the other, maybe through a, a slow conversion in our life, or else a, a moment of passionate change, we have each met a person, Jesus the Christ of Nazareth. This is what we are about, and this is why we, we come together to share our lives with one another at this Eucharist. For each of us, that realization about Jesus being the one 
is our Savior, comes to us in different ways. I say sometimes slowly, sometimes passionately in a moment. I remember probably when I was about 19, I had four events in my life, one after another, over a period of about 18 months, and I couldn't handle them. I went into a depression. It was as though someone had pulled the rug from underneath my life, and all my hopes and dreams were gone. I remember that time praying so much, Lord, first of all, I'm mad at you. (laughs) Secondly, come and show yourself to me. So over uh, these weeks and and months afterwards, I'd be praying this prayer. And looking back, I can't remember if it happened in a week or two weeks, but in a short period, something changed. I just knew within my heart that Jesus was right with me at that moment, that the future would be okay. He was saying, you're not alone. It's you and I together. And I say for you and many others, the story will be different. But that is how I came to realize that we follow a person, a person always with us. There's a priest, the Father Joe McDonald, that told a story. He had a drop-in center for youth. The girl would come to him every week and ask him about Jesus. So he'd tell him about Jesus, and she'd go away and come back. And next week say, you know, I spoke to my friend. He doesn't agree with what you said about Jesus. This would happen week after week after week. And finally he said, I've had enough. Go sit at the feet of your friend as long as you want to. And if you still feel empty after all of that, come back. I will introduce you to Jesus. And he will fill the emptiness in your life. I think this and what I've been talking about is what Jesus is saying in this gospel. He is the shepherd. He is the shepherd at the sheepfold. He is the one that goes out with the sheep and he leads them. He leads them so they're safe. Even when they're, they're in trouble, he'll go out looking for that one lost sheep. That one lost sheep. He'll go out into the danger, into the darkness, just like he looks for us and looked for me when I was lost. Jesus is always looking for us, ready to bring us back into the sheepfold, ready to let us back. When I go downtown on the streets of a city, there's one prayer I always say right at the beginning before I get onto the street. Lord, just one sheep, just one lost sheep tonight. If I can come in contact with a person who seems to be lost and give them some hope, that's all I ask for. I may never know who that person is, but the Lord will know. So we are people who have followed Jesus, the person of Jesus. He is the one who uh, goes out with us As we go astray, he'll bring us back. But he's always with us. You know, I think deep inside, each of us feels the need to be accepted, don't we? To be accepted just as we are. And yet, so often in life, so often there's moments in life we feel like a number, don't we? Nobody cares about us. Yet Jesus is that shepherd always beside us, always by our side, leading us. He leads the strong, and he carries the wounded, like a good shepherd, there to lay down his life as he did at Easter. He is always with us. So the message, I think, today's gospel is wherever we are at this moment, wherever we feel our life is, for there's joy, for there's sorrow, continue to turn to the Good Shepherd, the one we have given our life for, the one we have given our life to. He is the one that cares. He is the one that leads us. And he reminds us each day that Jesus is the one, the Good Shepherd, 
that calls us by name. And so now, let us turn to the Father to pray to the Good Shepherd, because our souls are thirsting for the living God. Let us now turn to Jesus, the Good Shepherd, who leads us as we offer our prayers to the Father in his name. Let us pray for the whole church, that when we see injustice, we may never be afraid to put out into the deep waters of the world to live the gospel of Christ with mercy and love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. For those who are addicted and find it hard to face each day, that they will find a loving friend to walk with them and to support them on their journey. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the gift of peace, that God will grant a change of heart to all who strive to achieve their ends through violence and power, and that they will come to recognize the dignity of all human life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those in the daily TV mass community that have asked to be included in our prayer intentions book, we pray for all young people called to live life to the fullest. May they see in Mary's life the way to listen, the depth of discernment, the courage that faith it generates, and the dedication to service. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, your Son Jesus came to bring abundant life. Grant as we hear his words and receive him sacramentally or spiritually in the Eucharist, we may follow his way of love and service in our daily lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for if you going to receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Bless be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for with you goodness to receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Bless be God forever. With humble spirit, I said, well, you said, you will not bless me. I say, you please to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. Pray that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exalted church, and as you have given her cause for such great, great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring bear fruit in perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our, and our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time of all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful, for, the, for his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, we come with paschal joy. Every land, every people exult in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. City. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. May call therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and into willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse of the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints you please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, and far by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now, whatever you are in the world, think of someone you'd like to share the sign of peace with and the thoughts of peace, and do that now.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ lead me to everlasting life. Please join me now in this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart, as though you were already there. I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you, Permit not that I should ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those that you were pleased to renew by, by internal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's finish our Eucharist in praising our Blessed Mother, especially in this month of May, the month of Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady of Fatima, pray for us. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Our thanks to our donor for the gift of this Mass. <laughs>